money, couponing, wherever you want us to go. I'm, I'm usually pretty good with it. And tonight we're also going to talk drugstores. That's our goal. So I've kind of been a little drugstore heavy with you guys in terms of doing a Facebook Live on Sunday and my husband got the CVS videos all edited and I posted that earlier this evening. So you should kind of either be super ready for drugstores or, um, you know, I guess a little tired of them at this point. But it's hard to imagine being tired of drugstores in my book. Um, drugstores are actually what got me into couponing. Saving on groceries is great and it's definitely something that we need to do, but drugstores are what got me, I guess you could say, addicted to couponing. You can't go back. The minute that you pay nothing where you get paid to buy shampoo, that's a deal this week, it's really hard to pay for it. Um, so walking in and getting all of our personal care supplies for free for the last goodness, uh, almost 14 years, really hard uh, to give up drugstore couponing. But I run into a number of folks that are like, oh, I gave it up for a while and I need to get back into it. Um, no, this is one where I may have times with the grocery store that like, you know what, I just, we're just going to shop the sales. I don't have time, but you stick with the drugstore. So I hope that I can get you as excited or hope that I can answer some questions if they're frustrating you, because really that's what I want you to realize. If you look at your monthly budget and how much of your budget goes to toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, makeup, all of those items, and if you were to imagine wiping that out, that doesn't exist in your budget, that's pretty sweet. That's a massive money saver for you. So my favorite number, CVS will email you usually like every quarter or definitely at the end of the year and tell you how much you've saved. Um, and I, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think I saw my 2019 numbers, but my 2018 numbers, I still remember because they were pretty awesome. Total spent in CVS, less than 150 bucks for the whole year. And total saved was over $1,900. That's drug storing. So that's what I want you guys to get too, because no, we don't need to go huge. I really only go once a month, maybe twice a month, because once you're stocked, you don't need to keep going. A lot of times when we talk drug stores, my husband ends up pulling out the entire drawer so that I can show you. We don't have to go there tonight, but we really do have an entire drawer of toothpaste and an entire cabinet of shampoo and conditioner and body wash and I don't have to have any of it. I really keep going now so that I can keep my rewards current. So let's dive in and let's talk about how to shop the drugstores, the basics, how to get free shampoo this week. Let's hit that one for sure. And then I'll try to get to questions too. We always we never really miss questions. So if you're brand new, don't, don't worry. We will get there between my husband or I. Someone will get you an answer um, or and I will try to answer you live. So the basics in the drugstores. We want to play the game. So first off, do not make a list of what you want or what you're out of. That's not how we shop the drugstores. You want to only use the list of what is on sale this week, what is giving rewards. So the drugstore is like Monopoly land, and that's how I want you to think about it. So this is some Walgreens rewards, for example. I don't want to go into Walgreens and pay with real money, I wanna go in and pay with their pretend money. Same in CVS. So whatever the deals are, I don't want to just walk in and think that everything is gonna give me a reward. It's not. I want to focus only on the deals that week. Now there's a few things that you have to kind of work out of, and brand loyalties is a really, really big one. So if you are only using, I'm gonna name one that we rarely see on sale here, Maui Hair Care, it goes on sale, but to get a really great deal on it, kind of rare. If you're cool with Garnier Fructis, L'Oreal LV, Nexus, we see crazy good deals on almost every major hair care brand, every major toothpaste brand. So if you're sitting in a little tiny corner, hoping that you're gonna find deals on your little tiny product, it isn't gonna happen. And that's the same in the grocery world too, guys. It's just kind of how it works. So switching brands, definitely gonna save you some money and sometimes grabbing things you don't want. So I keep holding this one up because this is a money maker this week. Sunday's paper had a $4 off two Garnier Fructis coupon. The Yesterday's paper, so get yesterday's paper. Go to CVS, they're on sale this week, 
two for seven. So you're gonna use your $4 coupon from yesterday's paper. Your total due is three bucks for two bottles. And you're gonna get back a $4 CVS reward. It's just CVS currency to turn around and use on more deals. So follow that. You paid three bucks and they gave you back four. This is a fun game when deals work out this way. And there's actually a few different deals this week that work out that way. Um, so that's where the fun comes in. If this isn't your brand, honestly, I don't care. They just paid you a dollar to buy it. Um, so you have to kind of get some of that out of your head. And this is what I want you to emphasize because people always tell me, I don't want to buy things that I don't need. Believe me, I've heard them all. So think of it this way. They paid you a dollar in pretend money because you bought this and you can turn around and use that pretend money to buy things you do need. Your toilet paper, your paper towels, your diapers. CVS sells a lot of stuff that you probably can use. Do I need this? I personally don't. I've got a lot in the cabinet. Do Is this your brand? Maybe it's not your brand. I don't really care. I'll use it. But even if it's not your brand, you still made a buck. You turn around and you use that on the things that you do need. Your Flonase, your whatever else the family is using, there's got to be something in CBS that you need. You just made a dollar off of it. What are you going to do with this? Donate it. Have a box somewhere in your house that is set for donations and be ready to, to pass it on. This is a huge way to help people. And one thing to emphasize on that donation too, this is one whole area that if you are on... Um, food stamps or WIC or all the programs that are out there, none of them pay for personal care supplies. So the fact that you could donate this even to the food bank, people need it. So you got paid to buy it, you can donate it. Now, we've hit all the, the I don't want to's there and we can get into the, the meat and potatoes on how to do it, but I really do hear all those excuses. So I just wanted to knock them out from the start. Uh, it's totally worth doing. It's free and you should buy it. Um, you know, I actually, when I teach workshops, just to put it this way too, because I don't know who's watching. You're not sitting in front of me like you would be in a workshop uh, where I can see you. But my favorite way to put it is, I don't care if you're bald, you should buy this. It's free. Um, so, or it's even a money maker, even better. So let's take that another step further with another deal to kind of explain this from a different drugstore. So this week we could go to Walgreens, and we can buy these two lipsticks. And I don't care if you're a guy and you're watching, um, you know, get them for your mom, even if you're not married. So grab two lipsticks. These are specific. Revlon, I'm gonna see if you, the, they put a tag right over it so you can't even see what it is, but it's a Revlon Color Stay, and that's important. Grab two Revlon Color Stay products. This week, when you grab $15 worth of Revlon Color Stay in Walgreens, you get this guy. It's a $10 off, thank you for buying Revlon coupon. It's really good on your entire purchase the next time you come in. I do not have to turn around and use this for Revlon. I can use it on anything that I want in Walgreens. It's just Revlon kind of paid for the reward. So that's the deal that's running this week. Buy $15 worth, get a $10 reward, but it gets better. If you buy Color Stay, there's a second reward. It's actually been running since last July for $5 off your next purchase because you bought $15 worth of Color Stay. Now, you already had to buy $15 for the first deal. So do you follow that? You bought $15 worth and you just got back $15 worth. This is pretty sweet. We also have buy one, get one coupons that were in the January 5th inserts. Now, if you're brand new, you don't have your inserts, I'm kind of more explaining the concept here. I go in, I buy two of these, I use the buy one, get one coupon when I check out. I'm gonna end up paying for one of them. The other one's free, so these are $11.99 in my store. I'm gonna pay $11.99 for one of them. I really have two, but I have enough because these rewards, they don't care about the coupon, the after coupon value. So I've, in their book, bought $22, $24 worth of Revlon. I'm good. I really bought $11.99 and I got back 15 in coupons. So pretty sweet deal. Now let's talk basics again in terms of how that works. I go in, I buy the participating item that's on sale and I get a reward for buying that item. If I buy the wrong item, I get nothing. 
So that's really important to realize too. If you go in and you get the six ounce tube of toothpaste and not the four ounce tube that's on sale, no reward is gonna print. So you gotta buy specifically what you're supposed to buy. But you can use coupons on these items. You can use store coupons on these items. All that matters is that you bought the amount required before coupons. This is both of the major drugstores, CVS and Walgreens, and your reward will print. Now, if you're brand new, I would recommend that you use the lists that are on Southern Savers. Even if you're old hat, I would recommend that you use the lists that are on Southern Savers. Uh, and I give you all the deals that are printing rewards at CVS and at Walgreens. So I'm gonna pull up the CVS list so that we can all look at it for a second uh, and walk you through what that list means because in the drugstores, we do use a little bit of lingo uh, or else the lists get really long uh, and really wordy. So just so if you are brand new, you can completely understand what we're talking about here. Um, and let me actually just find our Garnier that we were already mentioning. Um, oh, did I spell him wrong? Oh, he doesn't have, he's Fructis. Okay, so we have our Garnier Fructis here. This is the deal that I was just holding up and I'll make it as big as I possibly can. Um, oh, let's get rid of you too. There we go. Okay, big as I possibly can so that you can see that if you're on your phone. Um, okay, so Garnier Fructis, how this works, if you're brand new to spell this out for you, you're going to get, this, this part right here is telling you what the reward is. You're going to get a $4 extra care buck when you buy, that's W-Y-B, when you buy two Garnier Fructis hair care products, two for seven, and the limit is one. This is incredibly important. That limit is for the whole week. It is not per day. That's it. So this is a money maker. And if you're thinking, I'm going to buy 72 of them, you aren't. You're going to buy two Garnier Fructis. You're going to do this deal one time. Your CVS card will only print one reward for that deal for the whole week. Now, some deals are more than a limit of two, usually are toothpaste deals. So you can get free toothpaste this week too, depending on the coupons you have. Um, normally toothpaste deals are a limit of two, but just so we spelled out what that limit is, it really is your limit for the whole week. And then below that, I have all the coupons that are available. This particular time, we only have one, and it just came out in yesterday's paper. That is what 119 means, January 19th, and RMN is telling you what insert. So you head in, you use that $4 off two, you're gonna pay $3, and you're gonna get back $4. So hopefully, that kind of makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't, if you forget any of that, or you're brand new, at the very top of the list, um, right here, you can click open where the little chipmunk is. Um, let's see, see him? He was kind of hiding behind me there. Click open, and even here, though, WYB is right there, uh, and you'll see if you need more um, coupon policies and more just how to get started, uh, more lingo, you can click on those links over here, too, to help you out. Um, so you get the, the gist. My goal is that you could sit here, you could just check the check boxes of the items that you want, I've even tried to put acorns next to the super, super great deals. Um, check the check boxes next to the items that you want and pull them straight to a shopping list so that you are then ready to go to the store, just gather the coupons for those items. Now, with the drug stores, um, it can get a little tricky because some of the deals will get even better depending on the store coupons that you have. So we've talked about just the basic concept of the deal. Um, but a whole nother side to shopping the drugstores is the store coupons that are available. And there's a lot of them, CVS even more than Walgreens. So Walgreens puts out a monthly booklet and I meant to grab one today, I was in Walgreens. Um, you'll find them right as you walk inside the door, but you, all of the monthly booklet coupons are also in the Walgreens app and online. So I can just load those Walgreens store coupons straight to my card as well. CVS has a number of store coupons, uh, like Walgreens, however, so many of theirs are more user specific. So I'm gonna show you um, my CVS app and walk you through what I mean with that. So with CVS, um, I, you need to be using their app, you need to be using their website, 
pulling up CVS.com, logging into their extra care section will show you the same thing if you aren't a phone user or you'd prefer to do it online. Uh, but what I mean, so you see all my extra care bucks that I just earned yesterday, um, but all of my store coupons are in here. I can see what I've got. Now I'm paperless, so nothing is gonna print at that big red coupon center. But even if you aren't paperless, you will still see what is going to print for you. So if you're using the list on Southern Savers and I tell you, oh, there's a $2 store coupon off of any $6 purchase of mouthwash, you have a chance of knowing whether or not you have that coupon before you get to the store. Because they're all different. And I don't want you like, ah, Jenny keeps telling me there's a coupon and it's never there. They're different. They're different for everybody. A lot of them are the same every week. Um, but there's there's still a lot of differences too. So um, it just take a second and check before you go to the store. Now, guys, I have a ton. I can sit here and just keep on scrolling, um, and we we are not even done yet. You get the these are just store coupons. So in CVS's app, you can see the ones they have a little um, square next to them on the side. There's no picture really. Store coupon. So eventually, as we scroll, keep going, my store coupons are a little extreme, uh, and I hope some of you guys have them too, uh, this many. Then there's a chunk that are just app only. These app only offers tend to be the same for everyone. Um, so I have 20% off hefty trash bags, 30% off nice and easy hair color, $2.50 off nature bounty sleep aids. Uh, those are app only. You have to use the app to load them. They're there for everyone, even if you are not paperless you still have app-only offers, so you should be looking at them. And then, look at that, we finally got to the manufacturer's coupons. They have pictures. Why I'm emphasizing that. I can use a manufacturer and a store coupon together on the same product. So I've got that $1 off Crest toothpaste. Well, up here, I've got coupons off of toothpaste. I can use them together. So do that anytime you can. Now, a quick way to save you a little bit of headache is to use the barcode scanner. This is the same for the Walgreens app as well. I've been trying to emphasize this in the weekly videos, but the search bar at the top has um, a barcode in it. And if we turn it over and we scan this, it will automatically, it says, woohoo, you've got a coupon for that. And that was the three off 12 in hair care. So it'll load store coupons that apply. It'll also load and show manufacturer's coupons if there were any. I knew there wouldn't be on this, but I knew that I did have the store. So use your barcodes. It's super fast versus feeling like you need to sit there and scroll through everything. You're going to save a lot of frustrations that way. Um, so, and to give Walgreens a fair shake too, their app just as great with scanning barcodes um, and finding the coupons that you want. Um, with Walgreens coupons, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna actually show you one that's clipped. Where am I clipped? Um, oh, come on. Oh, well, he doesn't wanna show you, but um, with Walgreens, let's just search for L'Oreal. So there's overlapping coupons for L'Oreal right now. Uh, and I didn't grab any L'Oreal out of the bathroom. But L'Oreal Elvive, you can see one is clipped right there for $4 off of two L'Oreal Elvive. This is a digital coupon only. We have a three off two printable, but this is pretty sweet. It's a higher value. And we have, oh, ah, he went away. Um, we have a Walgreens store coupon that's in the monthly booklet, but as well is um, available. Here we go, right there. Uh, so that you see that $2 off with card. That's what this one says. So anytime I see that with card uh, in Walgreens, that's a store coupon. And it's really a monthly flyer coupon. Well, they're both loaded. You could go in this week. You could buy L'Oreal Elviv. They're on sale two for $8. This is a $2 off two store coupon and a $4 off two manufacturer's coupon. They will both come off. So you just saved six bucks off of an $8 purchase, or you would then end up paying a dollar a bottle. It's not a bad price. I mean, I prefer free, but not a bad price, and completely digital coupons. No rewards even needed there, but a great example of stacking those offers. So the apps work the same. I can scan barcodes even in Walgreens. Um, so that will pop up, and you can just start to scan. 
If there's nothing, it will tell you. Um, oh, but there was, there's a dollar off Garnier right there. So just scan your barcodes, make your life easy. And sometimes you'll even find some extras that you didn't know about. Okay, let me get to some questions. I'm seeing a lot of the same question. So how do we go paperless? I feel like people are kind of screaming it. Here's the thing. CVS used to have that in the app. They took it out probably over a year ago now. So to go paperless, the only way to do that is to have the cashier push the button on their end. You can call CVS corporate and sometimes they can do it accurately. A lot of times they don't do it accurately, but the cashier can. One of the things that may be the holdup is that you also start to get your receipts paperless. Um, there should be the option for the cashier to do separate, to do paperless on the coupons, but not paperless on the receipts, and that's really what you're wanting. If you go paperless on the receipts, it's really hard to upload receipts to all the mobile apps, so that's your only holdup. Um, but that is how you're going to do it. You're going to need to ask the cashier um, so that you can get them to make you go paperless. Why do you want to go paperless? I didn't really emphasize that when we were looking at CVS just a second ago, um, but I can show you that one too, um, just so you see it in action. But when you're looking at CVS coupons, they all expire the week of um, uh, that they're there. So they come out on Sunday, they expire the next Saturday. But if I come in and I load any of these, so if you notice, uh, all of these have expiration dates of 125 on them. And if I click that box, that expiration date just jumped. Now, today's Monday, so I'm not extending them very far. But if I wait, if I set an alarm on Saturday to remind me and I load them on Saturday, the day they expire, they jump and they're good until the next Saturday. Yeah, because now you have all of last week's coupons and all of this week's coupons to use together, and that's pretty awesome. I actually forgot to load mine this past Saturday, so as I'm scrolling through, um, uh, and oh, it's still focused on the search that we did for Garnier, it's like, where'd they all go? They've all disappeared. Um, but as I sit here and scroll through, do you realize these are all of mine from this week? So when I load them all, you would see the check marks next to them. Those are all my extra care bucks that I just earned yesterday. I only have two that are currently loaded, and then this coming Saturday, I'll come in and reload all the others. Uh, but that's the perk of going paperless. You also get a ton more coupons when you go paperless as well. Um, okay, so Sheila says, I'm glad to hear you're doing uh, drugstore deals. Uh, nobody ever, I'm glad. I'm glad that you don't get tired of them. Uh, and then Sheila says that you still have a Rite Aid oh, that converted to Walgreens. Good. So no one has Rite Aids left in the Southeast. And in terms of tonight, I wasn't even planning on going there. But if you understand CVS and you happen to be watching and have a Rite Aid, they're a lot like CVS. Uh, but there are no more Rite Aids. I feel like if you drew a line uh, for Mason Dixon and you followed it over to the Mississippi, they're gone. Um, no more Rite Aids in the Southeast. Uh, in terms of Walgreens, very similar to CVS, the, there are some things that we need to remember with Walgreens. And I guess, let me back up. CVS, the reward that I get, an extra care buck, it is Monopoly money. You pay with it, you use coupons first, whatever's left, you pay with extra care bucks. It doesn't matter that you pay nothing in the end, you will still earn your reward. It will not mess up your deals. It will not affect any rewards printing, no matter what a cashier tells you. It will not. Walgreens, that is not the case. So Walgreens has two types of rewards. The first kind is this guy, this $10 reward that prints with Revlon this week. The other kind is points, and they can mess up deals. So first off, what you need to know on this, this is truly exactly what it says, a manufacturer's coupon. Uh, and so if I walk in and I want to buy, let's say I want to go here, uh, there's a deal this week where if you buy $10 worth of Colgate toothpaste that you will get 5,000 balance rewards back. And so if you said, great, I'm going to pay with this $10 coupon and the $5 off three Colgate printable that came out yesterday. So you're thinking I've got 15 bucks in coupons, maybe that's what this came to, this is kind of a pretend deal. Uh, it won't work. Your five off three coupon is going to work on these three boxes, but this guy, it needs a product to attach to. It is a manufacturer's coupon. The computer will beep a billion times and never let the cashier take it. Um, so there's a solution to be able to use this, 
All that you need is a fourth item, and it doesn't care that the item is even a $10 item. It just cares that you have a fourth item. So as long as your total was near the $15 to use the Colgate and to use this, you know, throw in a clearance piece of Christmas candy that's still lying around for 10 cents, you're good. You could pay with this. But I do have to count the number of coupons that I'm using and make sure that they equal with a register award. So that's important. The other thing, there's another quirk there. This might be a little more advanced for someone who's getting started, so you can tune it out if you want to. Um, but there, the other quirk for you to know um, is that if I had um, a register award that was going to print for $5 off, uh, or $5 register award that was going to print, and I wanted to pay with a $5 coupon, a lot of times the cash register will see those as one in the same, and it will not print another one. So it's important to watch the value of the coupon that you're using as well so that you don't end up basically negating your reward because all that this is in all, in all honesty uh, if we were to like break apart that barcode all that it is is ten dollars and coded to Revlon so if I used a ten dollar Revlon coupon the computer doesn't have a way of telling that there's really any difference there and so it does mess them up so you do have to look at your values on register awards balance rewards in Walgreens. Uh, they are points. So that Colgate deal that I just mentioned, buy $10 worth of Colgate, get 5,000 points back. Um, and it may even be register rewards. I don't even remember the deal. It doesn't come out to be free, so I didn't buy it. How about that? Um, but uh, let's say it's buy 10 and get 5,000 points back. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. On that deal, if I pay with points so that I don't owe 10 bucks in the end, I didn't buy 10 bucks is what the computer is going to think. I will not get points back. So the important thing with Walgreens on any deal that tells you to buy a dollar amount that you do not use points. So and I'll show you what I mean to on the Walgreens list on Southern Savers. Um, try to always, uh, you know, emphasizing right on that top line what you're supposed to buy for each of the deals. But um, when you're looking at these, uh, like this guy right here at the very top, you get a 3,000 balance rewards. That's what that's telling you. It's equal to $3. Uh, 1,000 points equals a dollar. It's actually a horrible ratio. Uh, when you buy $15 in Chic. So if it says a dollar amount here, do not pay with points. If you do, then the computer will view that you didn't buy $15 worth. Now the computer doesn't care about the coupons. So head in and use all those coupons, but just don't use points. Another fun perk. It doesn't care about these. So use your register awards here. Be way under 15 bucks. You'll still get the point. Just don't use points. Now the other types of deals. So this is our soft soap body wash for 50 cents this week. It's a good deal. Um, this one tells you to buy two. You're good. Use your points. All that points don't work with is when it is a dollar amount that's required. So hopefully that helps to spell it out with two different deals kind of right there in front of you. Those are really the only big quirks to know about in Walgreens is when I need to use a reward, how it's going to affect the reward that I'm getting. You won't have that quirk in CVS. You'll only have that quirk in Walgreens. So hopefully that helps um, spell it out for you a little bit. Um, now, um, Erica in Sarasota, wondering if I should be buying the 119 newspaper at, Wal at Walmart or go all digital for CVS this week. So uh, I'm trying to think, Erica, um, all the products that I used, I um, did not grab. So if you wanted soft soap, Irish Spring, that is in this week. Garnier is in this week's paper. It's not a digital. Um, so those are probably the biggest ones. And pretty much all the other big deals you could totally do at CVS this week with just printables and just digital offers or old um, inserts if you had them. There's a great money maker on Glucerna mini treats, little bars, snack bars from a, with a coupon from the 1-5 inserts. I went to CVS on Sunday. I don't get my inserts until Monday, but today's a holiday, so I'll get my inserts tomorrow. So I did all of my CVS deals, which if you go back and you watch the Facebook Live that I put up or that I did yesterday, I didn't have any Sunday coupons for that um, because I they aren't here yet. Uh, I completely forgot, by the way, and actually like on my list of things to do today was to go to the post office. Yeah, um, I'm just one of those people. What day of the week is it? Who knows? Um, 
So happy MLK Day, guys. I completely forgot. Um, can you use a 10 off 50 with other coupons at CVS? Yes, you totally can. Um, so for me on Sunday, I actually had a six off 30 that CVS had sent in the mail. Um, and I used it with everything. My total after the six off 30, after all the store coupons was five bucks. Uh, still get back all the extra care bucks that I should have gotten back. So you can definitely use those coupons with other ones. And also to break down too, I use that six off 30 with uh, you know, a three off 15 in CoverGirl and a three off 12 in Oral Care. You know, all of those will still combine. So this is how most stores look at it. This is not just drug stores. So this will also apply in Target too, is a general coupon off your total purchase. You can have one of those. You know, if you bought a hundred bucks, you could technically have two, I guess, Kimberly, but one coupon off your total purchase, one category coupon, and then one coupon specific to the brand. Um, if it was like a dollar amount, but not requiring a, a set purchase. So let me explain. So I went into CVS, I had a six off 30, good to use it. I have a three off 15 in CoverGirl, good to use it. Had I also had a store coupon for like $2 off CoverGirl mascara, good to use that too. All three store coupons on that one purchase, not to mention the manufacturer's coupons that I can also pair in. So you see now why the more CVS coupons you have, the more fun <laughs> this gets to be. Uh, now, there are still great deals without store coupons too. I don't, so those of you who are just getting started know your CVS app is not gonna just sit there and scroll with the coupons like mine does, but don't let that discourage you because the more you purchase in CVS, the more store coupons you get. Um, they are based on your past purchases. So much so that um, we were all sick. It was the whole month of December. My family was sick. It was just a pretty lousy December. Uh, and my husband sent me to the store to get Flonase, which rarely do we purchase. Um, made the purchase. It was printing a reward. So, you know, got a deal on it. Um, now, every week, I get a CVS store coupon off of Flonase. I bought it one time. That's all it took. So, don't feel like you're going to have to sit here and make purchases at CVS for months and months until they finally kick in. Uh, they, are, they get pretty quick on how fast they start to load new store coupons for you based on what you've purchased. Um, and he's probably like, stop telling people what you're buying when I'm sick. Um, but now you know. So, um, oh, and uh, for other, Donna was saying, I'm, that's me. I'm finally getting back. I've been living off the stockpile for the last three or four years. That's a pretty awesome CVS stockpile. Uh, you know, and Donna, we're probably there on shampoo and conditioner. We could probably take a year off on having to purchase any of it. Uh, I have been rounding it up and donating it kind of in mass uh, and sticking it in boxes and taking it places just to clean out the cabinet a little bit. So maybe you can go that route too. Um, let's see. So can you use two store coupons on the same item, uh, like a three off 10 Maybelline and a four off 12? Yes, you can. Uh, and this one honestly plays differently based on whether you are digital or paperless. Um, so sorry, paperless or paper in CVS. So a lot of folks have been telling me that when they try to use CVS store coupons that are still on paper, that the cash register or the cashier, I'm not sure if the cashier is trying to scan them or the cashier is rejecting them, but I'm, I've been getting a number of emails and Facebook messages saying that they won't combine them. If you are paperless, the computer automatically combines them if you've bought enough. And all that matters is that when it gets to the coupon, that the value that it wants for the coupon is there. So your example was a three off 10 and a four off 12. You would actually need to buy $15 worth for this to work. And this is why you don't know in what order the computer is going to come to those coupons. So if it comes to the three off 10 first and you only bought $14 worth, now your total is 11 and the four off 12 wouldn't apply. So you need to kind of think of the math either way. I know we don't have like, please my dear Aunt Sally here, we don't know which coupon is going to come off first. But if I bought $15 worth of Maybelline, Diana, and hopefully, or sorry, uh, Homestead and Crazy, sorry, I got I mixed up on it, who asked that one? Um, but if I bought $15 worth, the three, let's say the three off 10 came off first, now I owe 12, then the four off 12 would come off. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, if you are paper coupons, you would actually need to buy $22 worth of the product to add those two together. 
um, and that's just how the, how they're going to deal with it. So just so you see both sides of that. Okay. Uh, and then Diana is also asking a similar question. And, you know, you're not alone here. There are a ton of body wash coupons this week, guys. I hope that you are prepared to stock up on soft soap and Irish Spring at CVS with all of these coupons. Diana is saying she's got a two off six body wash, a two off six Irish Spring, and a two off three Irish Spring. And it's giving four extra care bucks when you buy three. And it's on sale for $3.99. And we got manufacturer's coupons in yesterday's paper. What can you use? Um, in general, uh, the computer should take off one of the Irish Springs and one of the general body wash. It won't take both of the Irish Springs, um, but they're the same value. So it's going to take one of those $2 Irish Springs. It's going to take one of the general body wash and then use all your manufacturer coupons. That's going to come out to be free, if not almost free, with $4 in store coupons. So definitely add that one to your list. Um, I have a question about couponing um, with credit cards. Uh, will I get this, still get the same deals paying with credit cards instead of cash? Definitely, Brittany. I don't ever pay with cash. Um, I only use a credit card whenever I'm out and about. It's rare for me to even have cash, and we don't even use a debit card when we're out and about. So um, they work perfectly as long as you pay them off. Uh, or don't use them at all, but you can. And actually for me, uh, if I had my purse, lately I have been using gift cards. Walgreens had a lot of um, buy gift cards and get a Walgreens gift card back around Christmas. So my Walgreens purchases, I've been paying with Walgreens gift cards. My CVS, I've been using those CVS bonus cash gift cards from Christmas time too. So I haven't been paying a dime for these deals. It doesn't matter what you pay with, just pay them. That's all they care. Uh, and has anybody noticed that some CVS store machines don't accept multiple dollar off dollar coupons in one trip, but some work fine? So yes, Jessica, that's exactly what people have been emailing about is um, that when they head in, if it's paper anyway, that sometimes it's going through, a lot of times it's not, but the digital that it's been working just fine. So I don't know if you're digital or paperless, um, Jessica, but uh, if you'll chime in and let me know, um, that would help too. We've hit the paper list, so to go paper list, you need to ask the cashier. They're the only way only way that you can do that right now. Um, and if I have more than one account, can I log off my account and then log into the second? Whew, you can. I don't know. Um, I mean, let me just hit on this one, I guess. The only reason to have multiple CBS accounts is to be able to get a ton of stuff. But in all honesty, there's so much free stuff and great deals that I can't imagine having multiple accounts, nor the stress of having to keep up with the fact that the extra care bucks from this account will not work with this account. And keeping that straight, it would drive me crazy. I couldn't do it. So for a normal person, um, there is plenty of stuff for just one account. Uh, if you wanna run multiple accounts, then yes, you're gonna have to log out of the app, log in again, check out um, a, you know, again or multiple times, however you're doing that. Um, and can I use this, re this reward on Revlon and get another reward? No. If you use this $10 reward to pay for more Revlon, you will not get another deal. That's the case with all Walgreens deals. Whatever that reward is that prints, you should never plan on using it on the same deal again. So they basically want all of their register reward deals to be a limit of one. And if you repeat them, the computer is supposed to catch that, it's supposed to catch, hey, that's the coupon I'm about to print and not print another one. So don't repeat them. Occasionally, we'll find out that a deal is rolling, which means that you can use it and get another one and use it and get another one, but it's pretty rare. So just always plan on it. Um, are there any Eckerds left? No, um, but if you remember them, that's pretty impressive. I um, used to have an uncle that helped manage one. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Our printable, coup printable coupons are just a pain, um, and there, there's always something. Is it just me? So, Anna, do you mean in the store that they're not working in the store? So, for me, I don't have any issues with printable coupons scanning in the store, but some of that might be your printer. Um, so, whenever I mention this, I, it's, I, I don't know, my husband better start Googling now to find the link, um, but I would highly recommend... If it is a scanning issue in the store with printable coupons, highly recommend that you switch to a laser black and white printer. Brother makes a black and white printer that when we see it on sale, you can get it for like 79 um, to 89 bucks max. 
um, sometimes a little cheaper even with a coupon. That printer is amazing and the toner in it, that's all it takes, it doesn't take ink, it takes toner. The toner that is in it will last sometimes upwards of a year, 2,500 pages in one toner cartridge and the toner cartridge costs 12 bucks on Amazon for the off-brand. So switch uh, and you will love having a laser printer. My coupons always scan in the store, never have issues with that. Um, now if the issue is printing them, that's gonna come down to what web browser you're using. Um, do you have an updated version of Java on your computer? Are you accepting cookies on your computer? If you're not accepting cookies, then yeah, your, print, your printable coupons are never gonna work. Uh, and I, I say this, I feel like almost every week, cookies are a good thing, people. They are not a horrible thing on the internet. No matter what you see on the news, they are not a horrible thing. Um, so you have to have them. Uh, and then Brittany, uh, you did not get any coupons at all in your Sunday paper. So a couple of options. Uh, if you buy papers from a newspaper stand, and you call the local paper, the first thing they're going to tell you is that we cannot guarantee inserts to anyone that does not subscribe. So if you're buying them from a newspaper stand, you need to check that your inserts are in them before you close the door or before you leave the store, uh, before you buy the paper. Make sure the inserts are in them um, because there is no guarantee and the newspaper folks won't fix it. If you subscribe and there were no inserts in your paper, then I would call the local paper and kind of be a little pushy, either get them to extend your paper by a week or to bring you your inserts that you missed. I don't do either of those things. I have a standing subscription with sundaycouponinserts.com. So mine will be in the mail tomorrow. Um, you know, I, they can't help holidays, but they're usually in the mail on Monday and I'm fine with that. Okay, um, and is going paperless the same as checking digital receipts and account settings? No, Erica, it's not. So digital receipts just literally emails you your receipts, but going paperless means that when I go to the coupon center, nothing prints at the coupon center. It is all in my CVS app. Uh, it, well, I take, I don't wanna lie to you. Something will print at the coupon center, but all it is is a summary of the coupons that you've loaded to your card. There, You won't get any other coupons at the coupon center. Um, and, um, Yes, so Angel, let's go there. So since a lot of folks are asking, paperless is definitely the way to go. Angel's saying, if I go paperless, does that mean my extra care bucks also go paperless? And how does that work? It does mean that your extra care bucks go paperless. Um, oh, wrong button. Um, that they are loaded into your app. So as you sitting right here, those are my extra care bucks that I just earned yesterday sitting in my app. There's two things that you need to remember with your extra care bucks that are in your app. Um, first, I have to pull up my app when I'm done shopping and load them. So you'll notice mine are loaded. I do not leave the store without loading them. Now this little guy is funny. He popped in today um, and it's one extra care buck. It actually says that it's printed and odds are when I get my mail tomorrow, I'm gonna have a new home mailer from CVS. Um, and it's gonna have been sent to me in the mail, but they've even been showing up in my app lately, um, which is sweet. So if you don't get these, I actually just noticed that this was across the table. This was the most recent one that came, all the coupons in it expired yesterday, but CVS sends home mailers, um, for us anyway, we usually get them uh, like at least once a month, if not more often. So that's probably what that $1 one is. All my extra care boxes are right there. Actually, this is pretty sweet because I don't have to remember to take them in with me. If I were to, if we're on a road trip and I didn't bring things with me, but we needed something, I've got the extra care box. Now folks panic because when you get to the register, you're worried that you're not gonna have control over how to use them and you actually are. So when you go to check out, the computer is gonna automatically load any of these store coupons that apply. They just, boom. If they work, they are applied. If they don't apply, there's nothing the cashier can do. I will emphasize that. Um, but they usually always apply without a problem. Now, the next screen that pops up for the cashier, they're gonna ask you, okay, well, what extra care box do you wanna use? You do need to have a rough idea as to how much you're gonna owe so that you know, do I wanna use them all? Do I wanna use just a couple of them? But if I've got some kind of ballpark, then I can know. The computer is not gonna give you a subtotal, so you do need to have some kind of ballpark. I usually buy all of my products in one transaction. So my typical answer is just use them all. 
uh, every single one of them. And I've tried to make sure that I don't owe a ton over what I have, but that way I'm not stuck having to figure out the math either. It makes it easy. Uh, but the cashier can just pick one or two, whichever ones you want them to. They can swivel the screen towards you so that you can see that too and you can use just the ones you want. Uh, so don't panic that you're gonna use them. There is a perk of having them in the app if you wanna play kinda a little bit of risk on this. Uh, I load mine immediately in the store before I get in the car, but if you don't wanna do that, if you wait, you have seven days to load them and if you load them on that last day, they will expire 30 days from the day that you load them. So potentially you could push your extra care bucks out further on their expiration date. But if you forget to load them, they go away. So don't forget to load them. That's not a good idea. Um, just load them and don't play that game. But that's how it's going to work for paperless extra care bucks in CVS. Um, let's see. I did use, Janelle, the question that you were asking, um, so I did use extra care bucks on that purchase. I had $15 in extra care bucks, uh, and I used coupons, I used my six off 30, I it, you know what, um, actually I can, um, uh, I, I get paper receipts, but I also get email ones, um, so I can pull up my CVS receipt for you uh, and show you um, the exact receipt to, um, I say that, where is it? Here we go. Your CVS receipt. Um, so let's pop in here and let's see how big I can make this. You're going to hang out in my inbox for a second. Um, thankfully, it doesn't tell you quite how many unread emails I have. Um, but you can see everything that we grabbed. The sweet part about this, by the way, is it also shows... Um, Every, uh, the, the original price, this is like old school CVS receipts versus new school CVS receipts. But you can see the six off 30 applied on the various items. Um, you can see the, any other store coupons that applied, uh, three off 12 oral care, two off Hallmark cards. Um, these were the extra care bucks that were used, beauty club rewards that were used, a quarterly extra care buck that was used. Um, just gives you kind of a ballpark of everything that was applied along with the manufacturer's coupons for them too. But yes, it all worked perfectly. Um, so I, I know you were sending me a message kind of wondering about how that worked. And that was my test, having that six off 30 and having all those extra care bucks, they all applied without a problem. Um, so I'm not, um, not quite sure what the issue was. Um, I thought if you, had, if you had to make sure the six off 30 plus the three off 10, um, so no, uh, Trubiano, you do not have to buy, to use a six off 30, like uh, was mailed to me, uh, and to use, or it's kind of telling you that one here to like, uh, letting me know what's inside, um, to use that six off 30 with a Colgate specific, you're good. The six off 30, I need to buy $30 total to use that. But then to use a three off 10 in Colgate, all that matters is that I bought $10 in Colgate. Um, it's when you wanna stack two Colgate offers off of the entire purchase that the amounts are gonna need to add up uh, to work or two six off 30s, then technically the computer would want $60 purchased or the cashier would, um, depending on who is applying them. Okay, uh, Lynette says, in my area, if there's a buy 20 and get 10, you don't get the 10 until after the extra care bucks and coupons come off and the total is 20 bucks. And how is that a deal? So Lynette, um, I'm not sure what area you're in, but that is not how the CVS um, registers bring it up. So if a cat, and let me just emphasize this across the board with all drugstores. If a cashier ever tells you, oh, it's because you used coupons and you went below the total, mm -mm, that is like their go-to answer for they have no clue. I'm just, let's just sum it up because that's the truth. Um, they are just making it up because it sounds great to them and they would like to blame your coupons. But that is not the case. So all CVS deals, as long as you bought the requirement before coupons, you're good. Now I've had people send me pictures, just like I showed you my, C my CVS receipt. I've had people send me their CVS receipts every single time, every time, 100% of the time. It is because a person bought an item that was not a participating product. And you think that it is. And so the best example of this is usually paper goods because you bought the nine 
mega roll and it was really the 12 double roll and it's so hard they're all on the shelves right next to each other but that product did not count and so when you look at the bottom of your receipt let me see if this is on here on this one um, yes so if you look at the bottom of your receipt and you kind of keep going um, pull this back up again uh, you can see how close you are to the next things that you need to get so um, this says, uh, like, CoverGirl, my offer limit reached, I spent 15 But sometimes it will say, you're still $8 away from the reward. You're $9 away. And you need to kind of mathematically figure out, what did I not get right? Um, because that's the case. And I normally, I would love to say that this is the store's issue, but the CVS Extra Care Buck system, it's been around so long that really, if an Extra Care Buck doesn't print, it's because you bought the wrong thing. Um, and it's not the computer's doing, it's consumer error. Um, and I, you know, I'm a big one for the customers always right, but their computer, I mean, they really are. They are old hat at getting things in. Um, and as long as you buy the participating items, that reward, it prints. Um, so more than likely, that's your issue. You're off on one little item. Remember, a perk of CVS too, I can even be within like 15, 10, 15 cents. I'm still going to get that reward on that $20 purchase. Uh, so they love to put diapers for $9.99 and buy $30 worth and get a $10 reward. Buy three of them at $9.99. Be three pennies short. You will still get that reward. And that's just a fun perk for CVS. It does not work in Walgreens, but a very fun perk for CVS that you can be within 10, 15. Sometimes you can you can push it on that $30 purchase and be a little further out too uh, and, and still get the reward. does not matter that you paid with coupons. Um, so, And not trying to pick on you either, Lynette. Just saying in general, I have gotten... I have so many emails when I sit there, and I will gladly study receipts for people. Um, I don't have all the time in the world, but I will try to do it. stop what I'm doing and study the receipt to figure out what it is that you bought that wasn't the right item. And if you do that, by the way, just return the wrong item, buy the right item in CVS across multiple receipts. It doesn't matter. It could be multiple stores. As soon as you purchase the amount you were supposed to have purchased, your reward will print. So if you do screw up, you notice, you know, ah, that wasn't the right toilet paper. Just return it right then and buy the toilet paper you should have bought and your reward will print. You'll be good to go. So um, don't be frustrated. Now, Walgreens, it must be on the counter at the same time or no reward will print whatsoever for that item. So just be aware of that one. CVS has, uh, if you're brand new, CVS has enough buffer to make, to kind of take away some stress on new people that Walgreens does not have. Walgreens kind of has a, um, a zero tolerance policy on screwing up uh, or no rewards are going to come. Okay, um, let's see. So Nadine says, I never intentionally went paperless at CVS, but nothing at all prints out of the red box, not even the list of what's been added to my card. Um, so I don't, I have no clue, Nadine, as to why nothing would print. I still get that uh, summary that prints for me. I would ask your store, you know, is the red box working? And um, you can also ask them, and folks don't know this, by the way, if the red box is not working, uh, and many times the store can scan your CVS card like you were going to check out and then cancel the transaction. And all the coupons that would have printed at the red box will print on the receipt of the canceled transaction. So you could have them kind of test that to Nadine and see if that worked and if that generated the coupons that you were hoping you would get. Um, uh, I just started using the CVS app. Are the store coupons the same on the app as on the CVS website? They're exactly the same, Amy. So check on the website if you want to look on the website because it's bigger or just use the app. Um, for me, just use the barcode scanner. Good to go. Uh, you know, whatever makes it easy for you. Um, let's see. Um, if I decide to get inserts online, um, is it best because my paper came with no inserts? So you could, uh, yeah. I mean, if your paper's never gonna have the inserts, Brittany, you could decide to get your inserts and have them mailed to you. It's not cheaper, it's just, it's the same price as buying a paper, but you at least know you're gonna get them. Um, okay, and then Marissa says, lately I've had a bunch of the mobile app coupons that are not applying even when I've met the requirements 
do I know why this could be? Not 100%, but Marissa, what you can do, um, the cashier can actually turn the screen around and show you in CVS anyway, um, which ones have automatically applied so that you can see, like, where did we screw up? Why is something not applying? Uh, and maybe the computer is using more than one. So uh, like a deal, I think it was Deborah that was mentioning where she had a coupon off body wash and two different Irish Spring coupons. The computer is going to pick what it thinks it should apply there. Uh, and it should pick a body wash and an Irish Spring, but it wouldn't pick the second one. So it could be that you um, were hoping that one would apply and, and another one wouldn't. Um, Walgreens will also do this just as a tip. If you happen to pull up the Walgreens app and you notice, um, this is probably a great example this week, you notice that there's a five off three Colgate digital offer and there's also a $1 digital offer. The Walgreens computer system, mm, it will use that $1 offer and not use the $5 offer because it thinks that it's helping you and it will use the one that is going to expire the soonest or a lot of times, I think, always use the lesser value. So in that situation, it can hurt you to have multiple loaded. That's with manufacturers on the Walgreens um, digital offers, but that is one example of when they may not come off too. Um, oh, and Brittany, in terms of ordering inserts, yes, I'm pretty sure with Sunday Coupon Inserts, you can still order this week's inserts and have them mailed to you. Um, sorry, I didn't quite understand that one. Um, and then... Yes, and so Kathy, the, the problem with returning the wrong item, if you use extra care bucks, you lose them, right? So this is what CVS is gonna do. If I return an item and I paid with extra care bucks for the item that I returned, if the extra care buck is still good, so hopefully you bought it just now and you're gonna return it, and the extra care buck is still good, um, it, will, it will generate that extra care buck that you used on the receipt. So it's going to tell you, oh, your return is for 50 cents or whatever you ended up actually paying for the item. But on your receipt, an extra care buck is going to print that is the one you used on that product or load it back into your app. So you will get it back. But yes, your return in CVS will be the amount that you paid, which is very crummy uh, and not so great. So you don't want to try to do a ton of returns. I'm just telling you that you could um, for making that deal work if you had had screwed up, screwed up on the offer. Um, let's see. So how do I deal with issues when paperless and the extra care bucks don't apply like the soft soap issue this week? Um, so Cody, um, I'm not, I don't know what the soft soap issue was. Um, I didn't buy soft soap in my store though I was very tempted but I needed Sunday's coupons and I don't have Sunday's coupons yet. Um, so I don't know if that one's not working right for folks, um, but um, okay. So the soft soap at CVS this week rang up for four ninety nine when it's supposed to be on sale for three ninety nine, um, and the extra care bucks not printing. Um, so there are a few ways to deal with it. One, your store can manually fix it. They can price mark the item down. They can force the extra care buck. Um, Two, you can call CVS Corporate and you can tell them and they will load the extra care buck that should have printed onto your card. Uh, so that is sometimes the easiest option because depending on the cashier you have, they won't even know how to do a price adjustment. Um, so, you know, you'll learn what CVSs are amazing and what ones aren't. On Sunday for me, when I went shopping, I, I pondered it. I knew I was going to head to church after I was done. And there is a CVS that's right by our church, but I totally went to my favorite CVS and did not go to the one that is by church. Not that they're bad, but I don't normally shop there. And I don't know whether or not the cashiers are great or not. I am totally going to my CVS where I just know the comfort level and know that they could solve a problem if one arose. But if you're in that boat, CVS corporate on the phone can fix it and load the extra care buck for you. Um, okay. Um, uh, and um, hopefully that helps too, Cody, in answering all of that. Um, if you have multiple offers for the same product and the com computer chooses to apply the wrong coupon that you didn't want, the cashier can change it to the right one. So Paige is chiming in on that one for Walgreens, guys. Thank you, Paige. Um, you no longer work there, but you're still helping us out on the Walgreens side. Um, and that's good to know. I 
do shop Walgreens a lot more than I used to. Y'all should be proud of me. And anyone who's been around for Q&As for the past, you know, however many years, y'all know, I used to never shop Walgreens. Um, but the Walgreens digitals can get, get annoying with that one. So good to know that the cashier can adjust which one has applied. Um, okay. Great question. So Robert um, has a question CVS wise with rain check. And this is a fun perk for CVS rain checks. They never expire. CVS rain checks are good forever. They will always print the reward that should have printed. So this is Robert's question. CVS has Viva and Scott on sale this week for $7.99. Buy two of them and get a $5 reward. It's a pretty fun deal. And I have an old rain check by Viva and Scott for $5.99. Buy 30 and get 10 uh, what will I get back? So here's the thing about rain checks at CVS. Uh, and I, I, you know what? Um, I may pull up a CVS ad just to show you what I'm talking about too. Um, so let's see, do I have this week's ad downloaded? Um, I don't, we're going to go really old. We're going to look at an ad from last October because I have it on my computer. Um, so in CVS's ad, and I, I want to show you uh, what I mean. That's why I'm pulling it up. But you, we've got skeletons here. It's very much an October ad. Um, so folks always ask, how do I know when the deals are going to start? It's because CVS sends them to me. Um, so here is a deal. And let me see how big I can get it. Um, for this, this is a Hershey's Kiss deal. This is not a current ad. This is a Halloween ad. Um, okay, but what I want you to get is this number right here. Um, so that number is written on the bottom of your CVS rain check. And that number basically tells the computer, find this ad and this deal. And that is the one that it is going to run with. Um, so it's, it almost deactivates this week and it reactivates that week. Um, there's not going to end up being an overlap with the rain check and the deal. Um, more than likely, it's only going to run the old deal if you use the rain check versus the new deal. So just so that you kind of see that. There is overlap, however, um, in CVS and in Walgreens. Um, so as I mentioned that, that you won't have it with the with the rain check, but there is overlap. So we're getting a little more advanced here and this may just, you know, rock your world if you've been at it for a while. But if you shop CVS and Walgreens on Saturday evenings, um, there is a point during the e late evening where in most stores they have the current week ad still running and next week's ad has already been activated. So yes, in those situations, you still earn one reward, but in those situations, if I went in and this week Revlon was printing a reward, but next week Revlon was on sale or vice versa, um, I'm, I'm going to end up in a pretty good spot. Um, so the magical hour in CVS is usually after 6 p.m. in a store that closes uh, and is not open 24 hours. If you're in a 24-hour store, there's no overlap. And in Walgreens, um, I have I will confess, I've not shopped overlap in Walgreens before. I'm just such a CVS girl. So maybe Paige, you could chime in and tell us on that one too what that magical time is in Walgreens but they're both Saturday evenings, just so you're aware, in stores that close. Um, okay, can I give you the number to CVS Corporate or tell us where to find it? Uh, the 1-800 number I used was a nightmare. That is the number to CVS Corporate, Kathy. It's just a general 1-800. It's probably 1-800-SHOP-CVS if I had to you know, decide. I would guess that's what they would have made it. Um, but it is on CVS's website at the very bottom of the page. There is no other magical number to CVS. Uh, to uh, make it all work in the end. Um, let's see. Um, oh, sorry. Um, I, I just understood Paige. Again, thank you for chiming in on that one. Paige was asking if they could. So in CVS, no. The, the cashier has no control over the coupons that automatically apply. So if you've loaded digital coupons and I wanted a three off six in body wash versus a two off six in body wash, it's not going to have a way to uh, let the cashier decide. CVS's system is pretty good though. It usually chooses the higher value. And if they're the same value, it chooses the one that will expire the soonest. Um, I, I, I apologize. She, I thought she was telling us that you could in Walgreens and she was not. So she was asking a question. Um, okay. Um, 
let's see. Um, I'm trying to follow around. Uh, do I have a Q&A for shopping at Target? We have done it in the past, on it, and we can definitely do it here in the next few weeks, too. Um, let's see. Um, sorry, just trying to catch up on everybody's questions, too. We're kind of right here at the end. We definitely... Um, Oh, and I get it. So someone was trying to sign up for um, Sunday coupon insert. So what they tend to do is when ordering is not available, they take it down. Uh, so if you're not getting Sunday coupon inserts to work right now, um, I see, I guess, uh, a couple people were chiming in on that. Uh, when they are available to order, again, they activate it. What I would recommend is to reach out to their Facebook page. We have nothing to do with them, by the way. It's just where I order my inserts from, so I don't know them personally. But I would reach out to them on their Facebook page and just send them a message. And they, I've even done that. They've been pretty responsive on messages pretty quickly. So they could tell you when you would be able to order them again. Um, but hopefully that will help. Um, Oh, okay. And then Paige says there's not really a magical time at in Walgreens. We used to activate the ad and it depended on the store, but now corporate does that. Um, so the, I do know they do still have early activation in Walgreens. I'm just not sure as to what that magical time is. In CVS, it tends to be 6 p.m. on a Saturday night. Okay. Let's see. Um, so, and and yes to a Q&A on Target. Well, then let's do it, guys. Um, how to shop at Target and how to save more at Target. I'm fine with that. Um, I don't think it's what I had planned for next week, but we can go there. Um, let me see what I had on the list. I was going to have us go to organizing um, coupons and getting everything in order, but we can go Target and then go organization if you want to, um, for sure. So, uh, okay. Hopefully we've hit a lot. We bounced around a lot, but we did hit the basics. We hit the concept. If you are just getting started in the drugstore, so if you're watching this night, you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. If you are just getting started in the drugstores, two things that I want to encourage you to do. So you can use the list that's on Southern Shapers, please. It's going to help you out and kind of make things more uh, easy to understand. Let me see. Let me make this a little smaller. It ends up breaking the tabs. But if you're brand new, I would encourage you to use this guy right here. Click on dollar or less. It's going to pull just the top deals over and you just pick a couple of them. You do not need to go in and try to buy everything that I mentioned in the Walgreens or the CBS video this week because you're new and you're going to walk in and you're going to put it all on the counter in CBS and they're going to tell you your total due is $97. And you're going to be like, Jenny only paid five bucks. How did that happen? You are not ready. So just one or two deals. Use coupons on those deals. Get rewards for them. Turn around and use those rewards on something else. Go home. Do not hang there buying things all the time. It's just, it's not going to work. You're going to get really overwhelmed. So start small, one or two deals. But I also encourage you to go every week for four weeks. I know that's a lot. But every week for four weeks. And why? Week one, you're going in because I told you to go in. Week two, you're going in because week one kind of worked. You're willing to see if this is still, you know, it was a fluke or whatnot. By week three, it's starting to click. And week four, you've got it. Uh, and the only way to truly learn the drugstores is to get in there and to shop them. So we could have a cue on it. We could talk it every week. If you don't actually go in, it will always feel foreign. So you got to figure it out and just get your feet wet and try it out. I promise it's not as scary as it seems, but just a couple of deals on that first trip uh, and it will be a lot happier in the end. Um, so, um, okay, um, so Billy, great question. Yes, there are a couple of deals in CVS that are month-long deals. So let me see if I can... Um, find an example of the tags just so you know what you're looking for and we have the same deal in oh getting huge um the same deal in Walgreens as well um so I'll show you Walgreens really quick these are just some old pictures just because I this is my life I leave I, I have pictures everywhere um but the best way to look at it this is Walgreens um and I we went um oh if he decides to load here but this white part on the tab is the, um, oh, I think I just have it super, super huge. The white part on the tab is the fact that it's a month-long deal. And if you could read that, um, it says 
of January 25th. So it's telling you when the sale is going to end. You're not left in the dark as to how long or how good that offer is for. There we go. We finally decided to load. Um, so you can see that it's going to last all month long versus one of these that is yellow on the bottom. That deal is for this week only. So that's an example in Walgreens. Uh, I thought I could quickly pull up a CVS. Let's see. Um, where are some old? We got to go super old. I don't always take a ton of pictures in CVS, but in Walgreens, I have to go and take the monthly pictures. Here we go. Um, so in CVS, you will see right here, they still put a good through date on the bottom. So if I'm in the store, today's, you know, the 20th, and I see that that good through date is all the way to like the 31st of, of January, then that is a month long deal. There are not a ton of them in CVS. So you hit on like one of four probably in the whole store. Most CVS deals are different every single week. Um, so if you do stumble upon one of those uh, and you didn't get the reward, you kind of learned the hard way, you could return the items if you wanted. Um, if you used extra care bucks, you're not going to get back your whole value, so just be warned there. But hopefully being able to spot the date is going to help you too. Um, they are few and far between though, so don't feel like that's going to happen every single time. It's pretty rare. Um, okay, and then quick question on Hallmark. And I'm the same way, uh, Hallmark-wise, I also had a buy one, get one 50% off and the two off two and the printable three off three. So what came off for me, I used the three off three on Hallmark and a $2. The buy one, get one 50% off did not come off. Um, so it used one store coupon and one manufacturer's coupon for those Hallmark cards. So if you are in my boat and you've got a ton of Hallmark cards coupons as well, one store and one manufacturer, just so you're ready and you... Uh, know what's going to apply and it's still going to come out to a pretty sweet deal on uh, whichever ones you want um, for the Hallmark deal. Okay guys, we hit a ton tonight uh, and hopefully I didn't leave you stuck in the dark on things. Hopefully we got everyone's questions. Uh, oh, sweet Wendy, when you saying, honey, this takes way more than four weeks. It can. Uh, yes. I'm not saying you're going to be, you know, swimming along like you've been doing this for 13 years, uh, but it's definitely it's probably clicking a little bit more than it was after week four. How about that? Um, and then you just keep getting better uh, as you go on. Uh, if I have a coupon on my CVS card, we're gonna say, and a printed manufacturer's coupon, can I use them at the same time? Yes, you can. You can always use a store and a manufacturer's coupon in any store together. So Target, doesn't matter. Grocery stores, CVS, Walgreens, all of them. If you've got a store and a manufacturer's, now, if I have a manufacturer's coupon on my CVS card, so one of those ones that have a picture next to them, not just the little blue box, but a picture, and a paper manufacturer's coupon, you could use them together, but you're going to need to buy enough products. So, for example, if I had a five off three, to go back here again, see if I can hold them up again, a five off three Colgate printed coupon and a five off three digital coupon, I got to buy six tubes to be able to use two manufacturer's coupons together on the same purchase. So that, that's just the way that manufacturers work as a whole. It's good to always know what you have. CVS, if it has a picture, it is a manufacturer's coupon. Walgreens, if it says with card, it is a store coupon. So hopefully that'll help you kind of keep them separate. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off for the night. Um, Hopefully this helped. I know it's a lot of information. I would encourage you to jump back over to look at the videos tab on Facebook. Look at the CVS video that I just got up and YouTube guys. I didn't get it up. I had to run to a meeting tonight, so it didn't get up before I went to the meeting, but I'll make the CVS video live so you can see this week's deals in CVS too uh, if you don't want to pop over to Facebook. Uh, and then I'll have the Walgreens video up um, uh, sometime tomorrow. So hopefully between the tonight and all the Q&A and then seeing the deals in the store, you will not be scared and you will go to the store and you'll at least get some free shampoo and some free toothpaste this week. Um, so you guys have a great week, and um, next week we will do Target just for you guys. So uh, a how to shop Target and Q&A on Target and all the ins and outs that are there because they do have some pretty sweet deals with all of their gift cards lately. So thanks for joining me, guys. Make sure to share. Have some friends join you next week too, uh, and I hope you guys have a great week.